Here are something that you should know about Burning Man. Burning Man is a marine gastropod mollusk in the family of Haliotidae. Their taxonomy puts them in the family Haliotidae, which contains only one genus, Haliotis. This shows that scientifically, its name is Haliotis midi. So, what is Burning Man? Burning Man is the name of abalone that are called by the people lived in South Africa. Burning Man also called as Earshell in Grand Sea, Oma in the UK, and Pawa in New Zealand. Abalones are found to live all over the world. They can be seen along the waters of every continent except the Atlantic coast of South America, the Caribbean, and the east coast of the United States. And these parliaments are found in cold waters along the coast of New Zealand, South Africa and Australia, in Western North America and Japan in the Northern Hemisphere. In the Chilean Pacific Coast, the species called loco is her hard blade shell and is eaten by many people. Abalones having its unique features and one of it is the shell. It's round with two to three spiral. The last spiral is grown into a large ear-like shape, which this explains the name ear shell that is used by the people live in Guernsey. The inside of the shell is shiny, from silvery white to green-red mother of pearl. Young abalones called larvae, they feed on plankton. For the adults, they eat plants and feed on algae. And usually they will prefer to eat red algae. The shell of the abalone is known for being very strong. It is made of very tiny calcium carbonate tiles stacked like bricks. Between the layers of tiles is a sticky protein substance. Be careful people, allergic skin reactions and asthma attacks can happen when breathing the dust made when these tiles are broken down. Unfortunately, there are a few issues involving abalone. In recent years, abalones have been facing decline in numbers. In some cases that cause these species to keep decreasing are mainly by overfishing. Whereas others like pollution, natural recruitment failure, and unknown cases also have been implicated to these cases. Species like the white and black abalone are now more endangered, while others like green and red abalone are steadily decreasing in numbers. Generally, abalone shells are beautiful enough when being polished and are often used as ornaments or jewelry. Their muscular food that is used to attach to substrate is considered a delicacy. This making the molas more popular among the consumers. The decreasing numbers of abalone can affect the secondary predators such as sea stars and sea lions that rely upon them as a source of food. This will be forced it to find the other prey or become starved. Because of that, it could lead to a decrease in both numbers of predators and a decrease in other animals that become targeted 
pray in the absence of the abalone. So, are there any ways to conserve these abalones? Firstly, Marine Protected Areas or MPA have been created within Southern California in order to try and conserve many endangered species including the abalone from overharvesting. It also allowing for many species to recover from past harm. Second lay is restoring plan by WARC or White Abalone Restoration Consortium. This is where they locate white abalone in the wild, collect brood stock and breed new juvenile of white abalone, stop sustainable populations of white abalone into the wild, and educate the public about the significance of this species.